one, where are you from? My name is Manasini. I am a visual artist, illustrator, and fine artist from Bangalore. My pronouns are she, her. Tell us a bit about your practice and what do you do? So I work mostly with traditional media. I create a lot of two-dimensional work. So I work with zines, album art, tattoos, editorial work. I've also dabbled in pottery, linoleum printing, and installation art. How do you do it? My sketchbooks are at the center of my practice. Everything that I create in my sketchbook, the explorations, the sketches, either directly or indirectly affect the work that I make. And um, making sense of the world happens for me only through my art, so it comes to me very naturally. When did you start? I have been making art for more than a decade now. Art entered my life quite suddenly. Uh, the first noteworthy event was this blotchy series of paintings that I just put up over my house and decided that people had to see it. Uh, thinking back, I'm not proud of those paintings, but I'm proud of the spirit and the effort that it took for me to show my work to people. Ever since then, I've known that I will probably be making art for the rest of my life. Who or what inspires your practice? Everything around me inspires me in some way, and I mean that quite literally. The people in my life, the chance encounters, and the stories that I'm surrounded by, all of them find their way into my work. But I think nature is my ultimate inspiration. There's no creative block that looking at the sky or looking at a beautiful fern can't cure for me. What are you exhibiting at Distance 2021? Um, in Distance 2021, two of my zines and one of my comics are going to be exhibited. B was a zine that I created in response to the coronavirus being declared as a pandemic by the World Health Organization. I remember vividly my response on the way back from college, seeing in the news that this was going to be a life-changing event for everyone. Um, so that's one of the pieces that's going to be exhibited. Uh, the other two are uh, about my experience of having taken a gap year after graduating school. So those are the three things that are going to be in this festival. How does it link to the theme of distance? All three pieces look at the theme of distance in different ways. B is a raw, immediate response to what I was grappling with in the beginning of last year. I was cushioned by privilege and was confused about how I was supposed to react from the comfort of my own home to all the surrounding suffering in the world. And I think that's at the center of that piece, which is distance where you feel helpless. Um, on the other hand, my second zine, which is called Don't Mind the Gap, was a collation of my learnings from my gap year. So it taught me that distance was also an enabler for me. It showed me perspective that I hadn't seen before when I was in school. So over here, distance was a tool for me to take a step back and watch the world before I decided what my place in it was. So that's how that links to the theme of distance. While the third one, which is the comic called Gap Year, I have again looked at my learnings from my Gap Year, but over here it's the three specific things that I learned. Why did you apply for Distance 2021? The world is facing a crisis that has brought light to issues that have been overlooked for way too long. Everything has moved online and in some sense distance is going to be the overlying theme almost of this decade because we started the 20s with this massive crisis that has made everything distant to us where each of us are surrounded by our immediate environments and we're having to make sense of this global crisis that we're facing. So when I saw the call for submissions for this festival, I knew that I had to be part of this, this beautiful collaboration with multiple artists, this almost global response to what distance means. And I knew that because of my gap year, I would also have more than just one perspective to work from. Where can people find out more? My work can be found on Instagram, Facebook, and Behance more than any other places. I try to post on all my social media, but you can look for me there. Um, the Raconteur's Revolution is the name to look for. 
Uh, this is a name that confuses a lot of people because raconteur isn't the most common word. But I would like to believe that I'm working towards changing the world one story at a time. And so I would consider myself a raconteur trying to create a revolution.